Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the potential for two upcoming major winter storms. One of them is going to be throughout portions of the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes states. It'll likely be a little bit less major and pretty quick moving, uh, but a more major, but a little bit more uncertainty uh, winter storm will set up to the south throughout the eastern Rockies into the plains, and then eventually into the western Great Lakes states. Uh, before I do hop into this video, though, I want to say you do subscribe if you like my videos want to see more. Uh, be sure to drop a like on the video, and and share this video out if you want other people to see it as well. Oh, let's hop right into it. We're going to take this to 6Z on uh, next Wednesday here. So depending on where that is in your time zone here, uh, for portions of uh, eastern South Dakota here, we're getting in on some heavy snow at this time here. Uh, it's going to be pretty isolated. Uh, this will be by 12Z next Wednesday here. Uh, for portions of western South Dakota here and west central Minnesota here, we could be getting in on some uh, heavy snowfall. Uh, here will be by 18Z next Wednesday, uh, which would be, I, I believe, about sometime in the evening. Um, for portions of northeastern South Dakota, and uh, southeastern North Dakota and west central Minnesota here we could be getting in on some heavy snowfall. Uh, throughout central Minnesota we could be getting on some heavy freezing rain here and uh, sleet to the south. You're going to hear me say could a lot in this video because there is a lot of uncertainty with both of these snowstorms here. I mean, we'll try to break it down the closer that we get to it. Uh, this will be by 0Z on Thursday here, so a little bit, uh, I'll be actually still Wednesday at this time, I believe. Uh, for portions of northeastern Minnesota here, uh, we could be getting on some heavy snow at this time here. Uh, to the east, we're seeing a lot of... Um, uh, rainfall here, with some of which could be locally moderate. Uh, that's kind of going to be it for that winter storm. Like I said, we'll narrow it down the closer that we get to it. Um, and throughout later in this video, we will show the accumulation map, which still could be major, many models are saying here. Uh, so we're going to take this even further out here. This would be uh, by next Friday at 12Z here, depending on where that is in your time zone. Uh, mainly it's just going to be rain at this time, which could be heavy in some of the southern plains here. Uh, but we're seeing some snow that's going to fire up in portions of eastern Colorado and northern New Mexico at this time here. Uh, locally uh, heavy. This would be by 18Z next Friday here. Uh, so for portions of um, northern Kansas here, northern Missouri, uh, southeastern Colorado, and northeastern uh, New Mexico here, we're getting in on some pretty heavy snow at this time here. Um, it's going to be a pretty fragile line, my assumption is, between rain and snow here because the temperatures are getting a lot warmer. Matter of fact, we're expecting a huge warm-up uh, throughout the entire work week throughout portions of the eastern United States. It's going to be interesting to see how that factors into our winter storms. Uh, this will be by 0Z. Uh, so portions of north... Or sorry, southeastern uh, South Dakota, or sorry, Kansas here, uh, northern Missouri here, and uh, northeastern uh, New Mexico. We could be getting in on some heavy snowfall uh, just to the south here. We're seeing an area of rain, some of which could be locally moderate to heavy here. I'll sweep by 6Z on sa Saturday. Uh, again, this actually could be a day before. The time zones are really weird, but this would be by 6Z on Saturday, depending on where that is in your time zone, uh, but likely just still Friday. Uh, for portions of northern Missouri here, we're still seeing an area of freezing rain, some of which could be heavy. A little bit to the north here, we're seeing some areas of snow that could be locally moderate here throughout northern Missouri and central uh, Illinois at this time. Here would be by 12Z on Saturday. Most of that snow is going to uh, quickly change to freezing rain, a lot of which could be heavy here in portions of either eastern Missouri, uh, southern Illinois. Not only snow, but ice is going to be a very significant concern, it looks like, um, if our models are accurate with this. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. I will show a map of that later on throughout the video here. Here would be by 18Z on Saturday. Uh, northern Missouri here getting in on some freezing rain. Most of our snow is going to be light at this time here, just so the south seeing an area of a locally moderate uh, uh, rain here that's going on. And then look at this. This would be by 0Z on uh, Sunday here. A bit more that is in your area. For portions of northeastern Missouri, west central Illinois, and uh, southeastern Iowa, here we're seeing a lot of heavy freezing rain here going on at this time. To the south, we're seeing an area of heavy rain. And then just to the northeast here, we're seeing an area of light snow. Uh, it's mainly going to be light, maybe some locally light to moderate. But the huge concern at this time is going to be freezing rain. So be on the lookout if you're in these regions for sure. Uh, here will be by 6Z on Sunday. Uh, we're seeing some areas here of a heavy uh, sleet, going, or sorry, freezing rain going on throughout northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and eastern uh, Iowa at this time here. This will be a 1,010 millibar low pressure system at this time here. 
on north the northern side of this will be getting in on some uh, snow at this time. For the most part, it's just going to be light. Uh, but to the south is where we will see our uh, heavy rain. And again, sleet is still going to be a big concern at this time. Here will be by 12Z on Sunday. We're seeing a lot of our heavy freezing rain making its way into lower Michigan, uh, southeastern Wisconsin, uh, far northeast central uh, uh, Illinois at this time here. The Chicago area could be getting on some heavy rain at this time. Uh, to, on the northwestern side of the storm, it could uh, mainly just be light to moderate snowfall here. There is an area of heavy snowfall, though, in portions of eastern Wisconsin. So we will have to keep an eye on that the closer that we get to it. So by 18Z on Sunday here, uh, where most of our uh, frozen precipitation is going to be on the northern side throughout northern Michigan here, uh, some of uh, northeastern uh, Wisconsin at this time here, and also northern uh, Minnesota we could be getting in on some snowfall at this time. And then this would be by 0Z on Monday, uh, which can, again could still be Sunday here. Uh, this will be Eastern Standard Time at this point uh, for most of the system. Uh, but most of our frozen precipitation will move into Canada at this time here. The heaviest of it will be in portions of western uh, upper Michigan at this time where we still could be getting in on some moderate to locally heavy snowfall. Uh, now let's talk uh, snowfall accumulations here. Uh, this is all total accumulated snowfall. This is all going to be by 0Z on Tuesday. Uh, so for Central Standard Time, that would be uh, 6 p.m. So for Central Standard Time, this is by 6 p.m. Uh, likely on, it looks like Monday here. Um, again, a lot of our models are in significant disagreements right now with how this is actually going to go down, both of them actually, but especially for our one that's over a week out. Uh, our GFS model is covering basically all of the storms, um, and this one is showing a lot of heavy snowfall that could be maybe approaching up to 20 inches here in portions of uh, eastern Kansas, eastern, the eastern uh, Oklahoma, or sorry, western Oklahoma handle, handle here, and western Kansas. Uh, northern Missouri as well, we're seeing a lot of areas getting out on over a full foot of snowfall here. Uh, so very heavy snowfall going on uh, all by about uh, later in the day on Monday of uh, not this coming Monday, but the Monday after that. So still, like I said, a lot of uncertainty. To so the system in the north here, still seeing some areas over a foot of snowfall in portions of northeastern Minnesota, maybe close to 16 inches in some areas. Um, maybe near Duluth or maybe a little bit north of Duluth as well. A lot of areas getting in on some heavy snowfall uh, in these regions as well. Uh, here would be our ECMWF model here. This one's also going out to 0Z. Our first system to the north here, it's not showing much of anything. Some areas uh, in far western upper peninsula of Michigan could be getting in on close to 16 inches of uh, snowfall here. Uh, for the most part, it's just going to be a pretty minor, pretty isolated uh, winter storm here. Still pretty heavy amounts for those areas, though. Uh, but this second snowstorm is really going to be a big story. There are portions of eastern Colorado, western Kansas here, uh, western, especially southwestern Iowa here in eastern Nebraska, as well as far northwestern Missouri here. A lot of areas getting in on over a foot of snowfall associated with this storm, uh, with snowfall totals over six inches stretching down all the way to northern Texas here. Uh, so this is a quite major snowstorm. And then this one, our next two models here are really uh, just kind of, we're just kind of looking at here because it easily shows our first snowstorm. You can see in portions of uh, eastern uh, North Dakota here in northern South Dakota, uh, some areas getting on an over a foot of snowfall here and uh, northwestern Minnesota as well. Um, but really, we can't see our second snowstorm yet, so this could be that they're not predicting that the snowstorm is going to happen. I don't really know what's going on here. When I did look at it, though... Um, it looks like that our snowstorm could actually be coming on two or a little bit before Tuesday here. Uh, so really, it looks like our snowstorm hasn't even started to drop accumulations yet. Our GFS V16 model is saying here. Uh, so it could be into the early work week of not next week, but the coming week after that, that we even see really significant snow accumulations here. Uh, so really, we can't see much about that system, but we do see the system to the north, our first one that's a little bit closer. It's the same thing for our GDPS model here. Again, some areas in northern Wisconsin and western a lower peninsula of Michigan could be getting in on some heavy snowfall here. Um, for the most part, it's really, we can't see our second system, so we'll have to break that down the closer that we get to it. And then finally, let's talk ice accumulations before my screen recorder goes out here. Um, so for portions of eastern Missouri here, we are seeing a lot of areas that could be getting in on over an inch of uh, accumulated freezing rain here. So very, very significant. Uh, but throughout eastern Kansas all the way into uh, Michigan here, many areas seeing significant ice accumulations of over a quarter of an inch, maybe even over a half inch for many areas here. And then finally, let's talk about our at least our first system here. Our first system could be bringing some isolated totals up to a quarter of an inch for portions of northern Minnesota, southeastern uh, North Dakota, and northeastern South Dakota here. 
here. And then this would be our GDPS model that's showing these heavy ice accumulations up until 0Z on Tuesday or 6 p.m. Monday here. It looks like a proportion of northern um, Wisconsin here in eastern upper Michigan could be seeing the heaviest of the snow totals. Uh, that is going to be it for today's video. Um, if you do like my videos and want to see more again,